Mushrooms, fungi and decomposing wood are often dismissed as simply part of the forest floor. Yet, for centuries, farmers and foragers knew they held hidden power for the garden. I decided to experiment. What happens when you feed your soil with what the forest has already perfected? The results were astonishing. Crops grew faster, roots delved deeper, and soil seemed to hum with life. This wasn't magic. It was biology, history, and ecology intersecting. By learning how ancient and indigenous gardeners harnessed fungi, we can replicate these effects in modern gardens, unlocking growth potential that commercial fertilizers rarely match. Fungi are nature's recyclers, and your soil becomes richer when you work with them. In forest ecosystems, fungi break down tough plant material, releasing nutrients slowly while binding soil particles together. Ancient gardeners observed that soils under mycelium-rich forests produced robust plants without chemical amendments. When we forage edible or decompose fungi and incorporate them into beds, we mimic this process. The forest has already done the labour-intensive work of decomposing organic matter. By adding it to your soil, you are effectively jump-starting the nutrient cycle. Modern gardeners can gather spent mushrooms, decomposed logs or leaf litter colonised by fungi and layer it into beds before planting. Within weeks, microbial activity accelerates, creating fertile, well-structured soil. Mycelium networks improve water retention and soil structure in ways most gardeners overlook. Fungal threads, or mycelium, act like natural sponges, holding water and slowly releasing it to plant roots. Historical accounts suggest that communities in Europe and Asia noticed that plants near decomposed, fungal-rich soil needed less watering and were more resilient during dry spells. By layering forage fungi lightly on the soil surface or mixing it into topsoil, gardeners can enhance moisture retention naturally. This reduces labour while improving plant resilience. Even small amounts of fungal matter, carefully incorporated, have measurable effects on soil texture and hydration. Timing, you know, is really quite crucial when working with fungi in the garden. Introducing fungal matter during early spring or autumn, when soil is moist but not waterlogged, gives these organisms the best chance to establish. Fungi also form partnerships with specific plants, so it's wise to match your additions to the needs of your crops or ornamentals. Observing local forests or meadows can offer clues about which fungi thrive in your region and when they are most active. Fungi form partnerships with plants that boost growth and resilience. Many forest fungi form symbiotic relationships called mycorrhizae, where fungal threads extend the reach of plant roots, supplying minerals and water in exchange for sugars. Ancient farmers unknowingly leveraged this by planting near naturally fungal-rich soil or integrating forest debris into cultivated plots. These days, modern gardeners can, you know, really take advantage of this by steering clear of over-sterilizing their soil, introducing mushroom compost, or even foraging for decomposed fungi to inoculate their garden beds. These kinds of fungal partnerships, well, they do wonders. Accelerating nutrient uptake improving root density and boosting resistance to pests and disease. Now, when it comes to timing, 
and the long-term health of your soil, it's important to remember that building up fungal networks is honestly a gradual process. The benefits such as improved soil structure and sustained fertility really do accumulate over several seasons. Patience and consistency in your approach will, in the end, reward you with healthier plants and a more resilient garden ecosystem. The timing and preparation of fungal additions, well, they truly influence the results. Historical records suggest that gardeners added decomposed fungal material in early spring or late fall, allowing microbial activity to integrate nutrients gradually. But fresh fungi, if they're not decomposed or carefully prepared, can actually attract unwanted pests or temporarily tie up nitrogen. So a bit of care and timing makes all the difference, really. By partially composting, or, you know, chopping forage fungi before adding them to your garden beds, you actually replicate ancient methods while also mitigating risks. Layering the material lightly, covering it with mulch, and keeping an eye on soil moisture really ensures optimal integration and, well, maximum benefit. Fungi also improve long-term soil health beyond immediate nutrition. Unlike chemical fertilizers that feed plants directly but leave soil lifeless, fungal additions encourage microbial diversity. Beneficial bacteria, nematodes and other organisms flourish in the presence of decomposed fungi, creating a self-sustaining ecosystem. Ancient and indigenous gardeners understood this intuitively. They left decomposed plant and fungal material in plots, noticing that soils remained fertile across decades with minimal labor. Today, gardeners can replicate this by alternating fungal amendments with cover crops and minimal tillage, allowing microbial life to build over seasons. Practical application begins with careful observation and foraging ethics. Not all fungi are equal. Some are toxic, invasive or aggressive decomposers. Identify edible, decomposed or forest harvest fungi that have broken down plant material and integrate them gradually. Avoid harvesting from sensitive habitats and prioritize fallen or naturally decayed specimens. Chop or lightly crush material to encourage microbial activity, then layer or mix it into garden beds. Over time, plants grow stronger roots, penetrate more deeply, and water retention improves, effects that are visible within weeks but compound season after season. The larger lesson is that nature already produces what we spend so much on in stores. By observing forests, foraging responsibly, and applying decomposed fungi to gardens, we harness an ancient proven strategy that reduces labor, enhances resilience, and builds soil fertility faster than many modern techniques. Fungal amendments are not a quick fix. They are a living, evolving system that integrates with soil biology over time, replicating processes refined over millennia. Feeding your garden with foraged fungi is about working with ecosystems, not against them. It's a reminder that soil life is the ultimate driver of productivity. By reintroducing forest wisdom to modern gardens, gardeners gain richer soil, healthier plants, and a more resilient ecosystem that requires less constant intervention. The results are wild because the system itself is alive, dynamic, and naturally self-sustaining. 
if you want to uncover more historical and ecological strategies for boosting garden productivity, subscribe to Hydro Haven, share this video with fellow history and gardening enthusiasts, and join us in exploring the hidden lessons that forests and ancient gardeners left behind for modern gardeners.